We all got a choice in life And the life I live is a life I chose We all got a choice in life And the life I live is a life I chose Damned if I let you take me out of that Boy this place ain't no such thing as civilized. This game ain't over yet. I ain't playing my final move. There ain't no freedom for no one in this country no more. What happened to your goddamn fate? Our time here is pretty much dead. One more ghost than people. I'm sorry, boy. I gave you all I had. Vengeance is an idiot game, boy. You ugly bastard. You got old, and it's kinda sad. No wonder they all leave you. Oh, it's alright, boy. We're thieves in a world that don't want us no more. I'll drag you to hell with me. Death ain't so bad when you bring a friend Die with me Join me in the fire Then you start to feel as though we're going about to die at any given moment, but you keep ticking on. You think you're going mad because everything around you has been laid out right in front of you. And in fact, all that makes sense now. Someone disturbs you frightens you, makes you feel alone, and you're here. We are, all of us are here alone, but we exist, we breathe, we continue, because we are outlaws. any of us can do is see it through. For as long as we are meant to find out what happens when it's all done. It's a great life. You risk your skin catching killers. And the jurors turn them loose, and so they come back and shoot you again. If you're honest, if you're poor, your whole life, and in the end you wind up dying all alone on some dirty ass street. For what? For nothing. For a tin star. This crime you see now. It's hard to even take in the measure. It's not that I'm afraid of it. I always knew I had to be willing to die to even do this job. But I don't want to push my chips forward and go out and meet something I don't understand. A man would have to put his soul at hazard. You'd have to say, okay, I'll be a part of this world. We are not criminals. We are outlaws. We don't abide by your society. We live outside them laws. What in God's name are you doing, boy? 
Ain't this just a wonderful life? I'm curious what makes you so curious. I like the way you die, boy. Sheriff, you got quite the price in your head, son. Sheriff, this is a warning to you. Come back in our territory like you have. And we ain't gonna come back very peacefully next time. Did I make myself clear? You better hope so, for town's sake. You don't want innocent blood on your hands, do you, Sheriff? If you don't got my money by sundown, this would be hell to pay, son. What the hell? You did not just try to shoot at me, boy. Either you got a lazy eye, boy, or a lack of respect. So which is it? Cause you keep that up, I'll make sure your mother stays in black on your behalf. You better wipe that smirk right off your face, boy. You keep looking at me with those dainty ass eyes, I'm gonna pluck them right out of your head, boy. You can hold on to your guns. I'm not gonna ask any of y'all to take them out and throw them towards me. You may wonder why on your own time. Y'all don't know who I am by looking at me. But I assure you, you know who I am by the sound of me. This here shopkeeper, Mrs. Rutherford, is so very dear to me, and she promised me not to bother you boys. None, at least. Not in the way I go about handling situations in the unusual sense. I agree. I want you to stop bothering Mrs. Rutherford, because I'm simply asking you to do so man to man. She just wants to run her pie shop. You boys can terrorize the whole lot. I don't give a damn, but if any of you so much as glance at Mrs. Rutherford's direction from this point onward, so help me Lord, I will kill every single one of you. So, Having said my piece, I do hope you keep your heads turned, respect my ask, and everybody can continue going on about their day. Thank you kindly. So this how it is, huh? Well, that's alright.